Welcome back, Halo followers. Season 5 is out, it is on fire, and people's heads are spinning. There's also new Flood Lord that I want to discuss in a little bit, but Season 5 is so freaking fun. After the first day of it being out, you know, I can conclude that the campaign AI are more, actually, exciting and more potential there than I thought was possible. Actually, what you're seeing here was just a quick stupid map that I made in like 30 minutes where berserkers run down this long hallway to attack us, the Spartans, and we're kind of trapped in there. So we just have to keep shooting an endless amount of berserkers. These guys are scary, but they're only just a few of the many options. There's, I think, about 30 something, 40 variants actually of different campaign units you can pick. So there is so much possibility here. People are working on their own campaign experiences. They're working on firefight maps or existing maps and adding them in. And you can actually have these really fun 24 player matches with 32 AI. And I don't think many of us have really thought about that. You have a whole war happening. And I confirmed it on my stream having 32 hunters is a bit overwhelming. I'm pretty sure it would rip a group of 24 human players to shreds. And we also have this berserker map that I worked on. And this is hella fun. Like people just gotta, you know, really pull their weight. And it's even harder because I took out the scorpion tails. That was kind of like the saving grace here. So it's a little bit challenging right now. You need a lot of players to like actually survive this so i put a link down in the description but i had a blast playing this on my game night so what is coming next we have the official firefight on november 14th probably that's not officially confirmed we just know that it's coming at some point but as i suspected um it, it's actually not true the uh, permafrost map the snowy map is there there's a bunch of really beautiful snow forge objects the banished objects look so good and they just there's so many different things i was actually plotting a little game where like everyone starts in a banished prison cell with no weapons just empty energy swords and we have to break our way out and try to repulse away the brutes that are coming after the crowd and we have to beat them down in order to survive so i think that's going to be a really fun mode that i'm excited to share with y'all if i ever get the time to do it between all these other things i'm doing but basically what i'm trying to get at here is that season five is just the beginning of what i think is going to be a long resurrection to this game i think at some point a few popular YouTubers, big streamers maybe, are going to find out that Halo Infinite is just this golden egg of content. There's so many great maps and experiences coming or already here for Halo Infinite, and it's all free. It's all easily accessible. It's all right there in front of us, right? And people are working on some insanely cool, like, open world maps, you know, linear experiences, left for dead type maps. This is going to be so freaking fun, guys. I just cannot wait to see what people make. And we're not going to quite see it right this second, but I do want to talk more about Forge because I think this is, just, I am so impressed. This is like a dream come true, right? But with that being said, there's also Prism and Forbidden. These maps do feel like Halo maps. I am proud of 343 for finally getting it right and finally getting this game up to snuff a little bit you know it's not done yet but there was so much that 343 didn't advertise there's a lot of armor coatings that are now cross core and of course there's cross helmet core now in this update so that really opened up customization to the point where i'm now willing to kind of maybe invest my time a lot of time or even some money into armor i want to make my spartan look cool now i'm actually invested a little bit now into my spartan appearance right so that's really good i think other people can probably relate to that the drip is looking insane all right so there's also a little bit of flood lore i want to discuss here so 343 is going to start a series of halo infinite flood lore kind of things right so they talk about this with like little intel things and basically they're just like you know spartan compromised infection confirmed countermeasures initiated i wonder what that is right begin reactor detonation failure so like these spartans are becoming infected but they're not able to like quite you know self implode because spartans used to do that at least in the books they do they kind of implode once they've been compromised so that like the covenant around them die and their armor isn't like you know de-engineered or unengineered to reverse engineered is the word i'm looking for so this is really cool stuff um there's also just like 
an update that 343 didn't even talk about really, which is like the game's main menu. It runs really well now. And I gotta say, man, this, it feels much faster. It might just be in my head, but I think that the game's UI, they did say that there was some improvements. I just didn't think it would be working this fast. Things are actually responsive now. And yeah, it's a low bar to be excited about this. It's a low bar to be like, oh, glad that they finally fixed something so simple. But, you know, at some point, this game has passed day one expectations. And not only that, like the things we're getting is actually really fun. Like, of course, I want more vehicles and weapons and, you know, even more campaign AI. But this is honestly, it feels like the game just got out of beta, right? I mean, <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but I'm excited the game just got out of beta, basically. That's what everyone's been saying around the block. And I got to say, it feels like that, too. And I know that's, again, a very low bar, <laughs> but I'm having a fun time with this game. And uh, I think the only thing that's really like the itch that I really need scratched by 343 is like four, five, six new weapons, the Falcon, a few more vehicles. Because I think on that end, that needs some more attention. Um, but, you know, the customization is starting to become a bit gnarly. I mean, this is some cool stuff you can do. And yeah, I just got to say, you know, that's just what I feel right now. I mean, even the boys unknown over here, you know, uh, they were talking about how they're having a, well, yeah, the guy was saying that he was having a great time with it, and he doesn't want anyone to ruin it, which is crazy, you know? What's happening right now? It's it's insane. But you guys let me know your thoughts about Season 5, and uh, of course, we will stay tuned because I think some cool things are going to be happening this week. I just got, I just got a, I got a feeling, all right? I got a feeling some cool things are coming. But I will catch you guys in the next one soon. Peace.